Now, our two GOP freshman members, both members of the Tea Party Caucus from Florida, Congressman Colonel Allen West is with us, and Congresswoman uh, Sandy Adams. Guys, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Colonel West, uh, first yes. of all, your take on this, this whole issue and the potential of a shutdown, and uh, do you believe and are you uh, insisting that and encouraging Speaker Boehner to stay strong, and does every penny count to you? Yes, it does, and it's great to be with you, Sean. And listening to your previous guests, one of the things that really does concern me is the lack of taking responsibility and accountability from my colleagues in the Democrat Party. We are here because of a failure in them uh, completing their constitutionally mandated duties, and now we're trying to be a party that presents the solutions. And it seems that all that the Democrats want to do is to now be the party of no solutions. And uh, this demagoguery of saying how we're going to kill seniors and we're going to hurt children and things of that nature, which is totally unproven. It's just empty uh, rhetoric, pretty much so, and it's very quite emotional. Yeah. So I think that uh, Speaker Boehner must stay the course because as we look at the trillions of dollars that uh, the situation, the magnitude of it, $61 billion is a raindrop in an ocean. How important to you, uh, Congresswoman, is it that Speaker Boehner, your leadership, hold firm to that 61 million, billion, I'm sorry? Well, it's important, uh, like uh, Congressman West just said, that to remember how we got here. This. Uh, All right, hang on, Congresswoman. If you, if, uh, apparently, President Obama is uh, just seconds away from going to the White House briefing room where he is going to address the press right now. And uh, he did a meeting with, that he just had with uh, Speaker of the House John Boehner and House Ma uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid has ended. He's going to go first, and then uh, immediately after that, we also expect that uh, John Boehner and Senate uh, Majority Leader Reid will also be uh, addressing the uh, public. And as a matter of fact, here's the president. Oh, no, that's not the president. All right, let's go. Back. Congresswoman, go ahead. What I was saying is, uh, like Congressman West, we have to remember how we got here. And we got here because the 111th Congress failed to do their job. You know, the Democrats held both the House, the Senate, and the White House. And they chose not to do a budget. Forty-seven days ago, we put forth a budget, one that they chose not to do. And we have been waiting 47 days. And it's nice that the president has now engaged 46 days before we saw any kind of movement in that direction. Yeah. And Colonel West, I mean, the, the rhetoric that's being used, uh, Republicans don't want women to get breast cancer uh, screenings. Republicans uh, uh, don't want clean air. I mean, Harry Reid actually said that. Uh, uh, this is a death trap for seniors. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, six million seniors will go without food. This was their responsibility. They had the opportunity for months to do it. They had full control. What do you make of this demagoguery, which is all untrue? Well, it is very uh, hurtful to the political process here in the United States of America, and is really, it really is bad theater. As a matter of fact, today you saw uh, many uh, women from Planned Parenthood coming up, and they had the pre-printed signs calling it a war on women. You know, I'm married, been married for 21 years. I have two daughters. My oldest will be 18 uh, this Saturday. And uh, I respect them, I honor them, and I don't see myself as conducting any type of war on women. But yet the exact same people will uh, seek to attack and call a constitutional conservative grassroots movement, the Tea Party, radical and extremist. Let me ask both of you this. If this budget is less than the $61 billion that the Republicans ran on, if there's, quote, a compromise, would either one of you support it? Uh, Congresswoman will ask you first. Well, I, you know, I, pa I voted for the first budget, and I voted to reduce bu spending each time. And what you're going to see is we're going to continue to reduce the spending because we understand that the American people sent us here to reduce the spending. We don't have a uh, taxing problem in Washington, D.C. We have a spending problem, and we're here to reduce the spending. Yeah. Colonel West? Well, I'm pretty much uh, understand that when you set the bar low, you will continue to drop low. And if we can't do a simple thing as far as cutting $61 billion when we're basically spending $4 billion a day, how can the American people trust us to move on to a bigger issue with the 12 budget and the out years where we're going after $6.2 trillion? So we've got to prove ourselves, and we must be able to do the small things before we're entrusted to go out and do the bigger things. Colonel, are you happy with Paul Ryan's $6.2 trillion dollars that he is proposing in cuts? 
Yeah, I think it's a great start, and I think the important thing is that what he has looked to do is to tell the American people, we want to balance this budget, but we want to balance this budget without raising taxes, without affecting our seniors, and it's going to take 26 years to do that. And that's why you saw the Republican Study Committee show that if we wanted to balance this budget within 10 years, these are the effects that's going to happen as far as taxation and the effects upon our seniors. So what we have done, the Republican Party is no longer the party of no. It's the Democrats who are now the party of no solutions. Oh, I'm very supportive of his budget. I think that, as Congressman West said, it protects our seniors, 55 and above. You're not going to see any difference. Yeah. And it does put us on a sustainable path. It is, on, it is a p true path to prosperity. Uh, by we the way, we, Congresswoman, uh, I wanna, I'll get right back to you here, but we have just been given the two-minute warning. The uh, president uh, just finishing a meeting with Speaker of the House John Boehner, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. Uh, in less than two minutes, we expect he'll take to the podium. When he does, we'll have all those comments live right here on the Fox News Channel. Congresswoman, uh, back to you. I didn't want to interrupt your answer. Well, like I was saying, we didn't get into this uh, overnight. We're not going to get out of it overnight. And I think that Congressman Ryan has got a good path to prosperity for our country. And we are working towards letting our children have the same opportunities that we had. Yeah. We Col want to ensure their opportunities. Colonel West, I, it really scared me with some comments by the CBO that said that, you know, under any proposal, they don't see how we get to a balanced budget. What was your reaction to that? Well, that just lets you know the gravity of the situation that we're in. You know, Sean, when you look at these past three years, 1.42 trillion, uh, 1.29 trillion, 9.65 trillion in deficits. Uh, we have a 14.3 trillion dollar debt. You know, that's one of the key things we must do. We've got to turn this uh, economic fiscal ship of state around. If we don't, we're heading toward the rocks and we're going to crash the United States of America. So this is a very decisive moment for us to go forth and make sure that we secure the American dream and the American ideal for our children and grandchildren. Congresswoman, why do you think the president, who said we need to deal with entitlement reform, said we'd, he'd cut the bu budget uh, deficit in half, why do you think when he presented his budget he didn't deal with any of these things? Because well, uh, he's... Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay, Alan. Um, I, I really believe that he's very good at talk, but I'm one of those people, uh, I guess it's my law enforcement background, that believes that actions speak louder than words. And although he said that's what we needed to do, he didn't lead. Much like he hasn't led on this issue when his party, when Congress of last year, did not produce a budget. And that's why we are here today at this moment in time is because he and his party did not produce a budget. Yeah, you know, Congress, uh, Colonel West, I got to tell you, uh, uh, by the way, here, excuse me, here is the President of the United States. I just uh, completed another meeting.